Hey everybody, let's talk about CSGO's weapon star difficulties. And if you don't know what that is, basically CSGO implemented uh, ratings or difficulty ratings for all of the utilities, weapons, and armor in CS2. And they're rated by uh, stars, four being the hardest to use and one being the easiest to use. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now to start off with uh, four star difficulty weapons, we have the Zeus, the R8, the Deagle, the Scout, the AK, and the Flash, I think. Now, to make sure you guys don't get bored, I'm just going to go explain why I think all of them are 4 stars really quick. So the Zeus, of course, is one shot and you need to be really, really close to your enemy. So if you mess, mess that shot up, you die. For the RA, I mean, no one uses a gun, but it's similar to the Zeus, but you have more shots. And because there's a loadout, you have to like look at the enemy for a while before you actually like get a shot off. And by the time you get a shot off, you're probably dead already. But I mean, it still gets a lot of damage done, which is pretty good. So it's kind of like high risk, high reward. But still, I wouldn't use that gun. For the Deagle, I mean, it makes sense. It's really hard to aim with that gun, even though it's so powerful. But yeah, I think it's a high, really high skill ceiling gun. The Scout is also similar as well, whereas you can only shoot one shot. And it's actually delayed longer than the R8, I think. But um, yeah, if you don't like... If you don't, like, aim, actually aim, and take your time with your shots, you're gonna die really easily, or just whiff all your shots. Now, the AK, the spray is hard, but I don't think it should necessarily be a 4-star weapon. I think it's very, pretty easy to use, as long as you just pull down. But, I mean, I guess some people don't know how to pull down, I guess. Oh, that sounds kind of weird. Wait, what? Alright, now finally, you got the flash. Now, the flash is really easy to use. You just throw it, but the difficulty part comes in where, or when you throw it, you don't want to... Like, blind your teammates or like throw a bad one where it doesn't do anything so basically a flash is it takes a lot of skill i guess and lineups i guess but i mean it's not even skill if it's lineups but yeah whatever let's move on Stop fucking flashing! <laughs> all right actually i forgot about the cz75 and then the gev and the cz75 auto basically there's um I mean, the hardest part about it is the ammo conservation, and the fact that it's like automatic is overpowered. But the fact that you only have two mags of 12 makes it like really, really hard to get kills, and you have to conserve your ammo as well as possible. So it's a really good eco weapon, but it's a very high risk but very high reward. I need more bullets. I need more bullets. Now for the. The Gev, it's basically a laser beam. I don't know why it's four stars, but probably because you're really slow when you use it. And they probably like made it sl even slower because it's such a good gun. But yeah, that's all the four stars. Now, the next section is the, uh, the three star difficulty weapons. Now, I'm just going to say all of them and maybe say something else. But I'm not going to explain all of them because this is a lot. So uh, basically, you got the Tech 9 M249 from Moss, both of the M4s, so A1S and A4, the AWP, the AUG, the Galil, the Krieg, and the UMP. And these are all medium skill weapons. I mean, I understand why they're not 4 star, but they still have like a skill ceiling, you know? Like, for example, the uh, both of the M4s, you have to control your spray and your um, ammo, uh, ammo usage, especially with the A1S, and... The, uh, the AWP, you gotta be really fast with your reactions, otherwise you're gonna die. Also, one thing I forgot, uh, both of the auto snipers are also 3-star weapons. Now, I don't think they should be 3-star weapons, but I have never played them at, like, at all, even in CS2 or CS1, so, um, I mean, they're just point and click, I I'd assume, but, uh, yeah, I mean, if they're hard, they're hard, I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. Now, uh, I completely forgot to check about this until, like, after half of the video was done, but all of the utility except for the flashbang are all three stars. The decoy, the molly, the smoke, the HE, and I think that's it. But uh, I probably missed one. I'm not very smart, but uh, yeah. So they're all three stars as well. I mean, it makes sense. Utility takes a lot of coordination and just util dumping only works like barely sometimes. All right, now moving on to the two star weapons. So uh, first, we got the Glock, we got the Dooleys, we got the Sawed Off, we got the MP5SD, the Silence, uh, that's the Silence uh, SMG, the MP7, the PP Bison, the Nova, the Mag7, the 5.7, and finally the USPS. Now, notice how there's no rifles in this one, because all the rifles are probably like high skill, and that doesn't make sense, they should be high skill, they're very powerful weapons in the game. 
But um, yeah, so most of these games or guns are run and gun uh, weapons or just like eh, guns where you hold an angle with. Alright, well for example, you got the, the SMGs, you run and gun with them. Of course, you just rush the guy and the, uh, what's it called, the, fi the pistols and the uh, shotguns are usually, uh, uh, what's it called, weapons where you just hold an angle and hope someone peeks you and you get an easy kill. Now, I'd like to argue that the USPS should actually be a 3 star weapon just because of its ammo count and how hard it is to hit shots, at least for me, because my aim is so bad. But yeah, I think USP should at least be a 3 star weapon. Alright, finally we're down to the 1 star weapons, the lowest of the lows. You're down bad if you buy this, and I hate people like this or people that use these guns just because it's annoying to play against. But yes, I mean nothing wrong against it. But Basically, we got the P250, the P90, the MAC-10, the MP9, the XM1014, the uh, Kevlar, the helmet, and the kit, I believe. And I, I don't think P250 should be in one star. I think it should be at least two or three. Because unless you're Zywu, you're not going to get a kill with the P250. It's so hard to use, at least for me. And then you got the SMGs, which is the P90, MAC-10, and the MP9. And yeah, they're all run and gun guns. I mean, they're really good for force buy guns. But if you buy them every single round, um, uh, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> and finally, the XM1014, probably the best shotgun in the game and the easiest to use just because of how fast you can shoot with that gun. And with the uh, the Kevlar helmet and the yeah Kevlar helmet and the kit, they're also one star. I mean, there's really no skill ceiling to it. They're just like. I don't know, they're just there, you use them, and if you use it, you can like, actually win so many more rounds. But yeah, I guess Valve just stuck them on for some reason, but yeah. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, I mean, I'm trying to make a lot of content just because I'm getting a lot of views right now, because the CS2 hype is really, really good. So uh, I'm sorry this video was kind of rushed, um, I just hope you guys enjoyed it, and maybe I'll see you guys in the next one.